Welcome to Crypto Quandary, five minutes of crypto news nuggets. Subscribe and hit the like button for more. Welcome back to Crypto Quandary. Uh, It's been a crazy, crazy two months, October, November. Uh, Right now we're about to hit 16 grand on Bitcoin. Hopefully it's already been there in the past, I believe it was overnight, it already hit $16,000. So let's see if we can hit it, break it and stay above it. So that being said, I hope everybody's having a great week. Uh, Looking forward to the weekend. It's Thursday going on Friday here in the States. So if you are at the end of your week, congratulations. Look forward. I hope you look forward to the weekend and I hope you have a great one. Uh, First thing I'm going to talk about is the Fold app. So congratulations to anyone who was on the was on Team Crypto Quandary for the giveaway they did. They're, the Fold app basically did a giveaway here. Uh, everybody won 50,000 Satoshis because of a meme. Uh, so if you do not have the Fold app yet, what it does is, so if you're not familiar with the Fold app yet, it's an app on the phone, uh, your iPhone or Android, and every time you log in, uh, once per day, you can spin the wheel. And when you spin the wheel, you can either win Satoshis or a bigger percent back in, in a bigger percent back in Satoshis for purchasing gift cards. So the way it works, you can purchase Starbucks, Amazon, uh, Cabela's, Chipotle, Domino's, Hotels.com, Lowe's, Macy's, Old Navy, REI, Sephora, Starbucks any of those kinds of gift cards you can purchase and you will get a percentage back in Satoshis. Now it's up to you whether you want to, you know, you can then spend those Satoshis uh, and purchase gift cards with them, or you can transfer them over to your wallet once you build up 50,000 Satoshis. So that's up to you, but go ahead and check out the fold app, um, foldapp.com and see what you think. And if you're looking to download it, I will have a link. There's a link down in the description. So go ahead and click that and check it out. Hopefully it works out for you. And go ahead and give them a follow on Twitter as well. It is fold underscore app. So at F-O-L-D underscore A-P-P. Bitcoin price breaks above 16,000 for the first time in three years. Recently, like I said, it just broke above 16,000. Currently, we're sitting at 15,992. So we're right there, we're eight bucks away from not even, we're $7.52 away from breaking, from touching 16,000. We need to touch it, break it and stay above it. So you have a 15,992 Bitcoin, a 460, 461 Ethereum, XRP is 26 cents, chain link 1267. Uh, and then we have Litecoin at $60, 5902. BNB 2791 and Bitcoin Cash at 258.35. So with that being said, let's go back to that article. Uh, installed rally picked up the pace Thursday with prices reaching three year highs above 16,000. That is huge, $16,000, three year high. The world's top cryptocurrency by market cap clocked a high of $16,157 at 10.12 UTC, a price point last seen on January 6th, 2018. So if you were in the market back in 2018, you might remember this. Uh, The move ended a week of consolidation in the range of $14,000 to $16,000. Bitcoin is now up 123% on a year-to-date basis. That's huge. Gained nearly 50% so far this quarter alone. That is huge. Uh, With the U.S. election in the rearview mirror, projected President-elect Joe Biden's stance could have an influence on fiscal year policy over the next four years, which could in turn affect inflation against which Bitcoin is touted toted as a hedge. Against the backdrop of stimulus from the Federal Reserve, we expect investors holding cash to continue to allocate to Bitcoin, said Kyle Davies, co-founder of Three Arrows Capital. And shout out to Coindesk for putting out this article. Um, 
The cryptocurrency has received validation from several public companies and prominent investors as a store of value asset and is facing a supply crunch due to increased institutional participation. U.S. billionaire investor Stanley Druckmiller, Druckenmiller disclosed on Monday a Bitcoin position said Bitcoin will outperform gold in the long run. Um, again, that's a stance that a lot of people uh, fight back and forth, you know. Uh, there's nothing wrong with gold. There's nothing wrong with diversifying your funds, your money, whatever, your assets. But uh, at least we know there's 21 million Bitcoin that will ever be created. And to be honest, not even because it has. So even the last Satoshi, it's just going to keep having. So, but at least we have a, a cap on that at least, you know. Um, but gold, I don't know. Do you know how much gold is in the world? How many pounds, literally? Do you know what's under your feet? I don't know. But again, I'm not against gold. I'm not against, I am all for diversifying your funds. Be smart, diversify your funds. I'm not, this is not financial advice, but be diversified. Uh, analysts told, also told the Coindesk, told Coindesk that the Bitcoin price may consolidate for a short period before moving toward 20,000 in December, which is always possible. So don't sit there and say, oh, I'm going all in at a high, a three year high. Play it out, follow what you believe, do your research, check the charts, do what you feel. Because if you do what you feel, you'll never ever be, you won't be able to be mad at anybody but yourself you know, if anything goes wrong. Other than top, other top cryptocurrencies are also in the green with Ether, so Ethereum, Litecoin posting gains between one to 2% and OMG rising 8% on the day according to the data by Coindesk 20. That's huge, 8% for OMG, that's good. Shout out to them. Um, also, we have brain trust here. President-elect Joe Biden announced his transition team yesterday, a brain trust of policy expert experts featuring some with close ties to the crypto industry, most notably former CFTC chairman and noted blockchain commentator Gary Gensler will lead the Biden financial policy transition team responsible for the Federal Reserve and Banking and Securities Regulation Review. MIT's Simon Johnson, who has written about blockchain technology, Georgetown's Chris Broomer and University of California's Mursa Baradin, known for their comments on Facebook's Libra project, and one of the digital dollars architects, Lev Menand, have also been tapped as part of the transition team. So, I mean, we are in an age with technology now, so it only makes sense that these guys would move towards, you know, uh, blockchain technology. It is the future. I mean, look at it. It's all over the place. You have NFTs now on the blockchain. You have, uh, there's different types of um, even investments you can do. You can borrow from, you can take a loan out uh, through many different platforms. If you have questions on that, just get with me. Uh, I'm not going to go over every little thing about all that stuff, but I mean, they're out there. Eventually you'll probably have mortgages on a blockchain at some point. Audis has had uh, quick bites. Audis had big numbers by crypto standards with approximately 50,000 daily users, but can take it, but can it take on SoundCloud? Coindesk's Bradley Dale dives in. One week after deployment, Ethereum 2.0's deposit contract now holds over 50,000 ETH or approximately 10% of the threshold value needed to move to the next phase of development. That's huge. So what that means is if you are new to the crypto space, Ethereum 2.0 is for staking. So individuals will be able to stake Ethereum. Uh, basically, it's like it, it, it's a 2.0 version of Ethereum. There's no other way to really describe it uh, in a short, in, you know, condensed. So uh, that's huge. That's huge for the price of Ethereum. Um, it's definitely bigger for the technology itself. It'll be faster, less transaction fees. Uh, portion of the transaction fees will actually be burned as well, which gives, uh, which creates more scarcity. Um, serve it, next one, service journalism. 
Multi-signature wallets can keep your coins safer if you use them right. Uh, Multi-signature would be like two people. There, you have to. There's two different signatures that have to go. So if you have a business and you want to use crypto in your business, you would actually have a multi-sig if you had a business partner. Uh, again, there's a lot of trust there. If one disappears, you can't get into the wallet. It depends. It depends on what type of multi-sig wallet. So you want to use a price oracle. Ethereum Whisper, Whisperer, Samsung writes. So there's a blog here if you guys want to check it out, coindesk.com. Sam Bankman Freed, uh, Fried. When incentives are gone, what's left? DeFi gets mixed mark. So there's been a lot. It's been a while since I've done any type of video, actually. Uh, DeFi was huge, too. We had uh, all the DeFi coins going wild. I mean, there was a, a one with Bree, which turned into... Was it Spree? I'm sorry. S-B-R-E-E, -E, which turned into Bree, and then they it, it, the price just dropped. Um, there was... Uh, there was a lot of them. And again, if you guys have questions or want to hear about that, I can do another video separately on that. I just wanted to get this out there and pretty much say hello and let's go crypto. We got a just about a $16,000 Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin sitting at 15,919, Ethereum at 458. Since we went off this in the beginning of the video, this is what I'll go off of now. Um, and again, it is down a bit, but. Uh, I mean, that's fine. It's right there. But the question is, will we break 16,000 today? Will we break it this weekend? Not if, but when. All right, everybody have a great weekend. And uh, we'll see you next week for another video. It's time to get back on track. Also, if you're interested in learning how to code, program, uh, you're new to cryptocurrency and you want an education on it, check out the links below in the video. Uh, I have the Ivan on Tech link in there. The Fold app is in there as well. And then if you want to earn, I believe it's $25 right now through crypto.com, uh, there's a link in there as well. So check it out. Have a great day and see you next week.